Recently, Paulo Costa's fight against the Kromaliskarov was announced. Everyone expected the Brazilian to fight Kamzat Jamiv at UFC 294. But instead the main promotion of the world decided to give a chance to the gaining momentum contender from Russia. The fight will take place at UFC 291 in Salt Lake City. Hello fighters! This is World of MMA. In this video I will give a prediction on the expected fight between Ikram Aliskarov and Paulo Costa. But before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it so you don't miss the next videos. Here we go. Ikram started his professional career in mixed martial arts in 2012. But due to certain circumstances, he didn't perform for three years. But he came back and started competing again. After, he was noticed by the promotion Brave FC, where he gladly goes. Victory after victory. It seemed that nobody would be able to stop him. But on the horizon appears well-known Kamzat Chimiev, who as well as Aliskarov has no defeats. Although the fight lasted less than a round, but we understood what kind of competition Aliskarov gave Kamzat. In the end, Kamzat knocked out Ikram with a hard uppercut. After that, Ikram went on another winning streak and then decides to take another step. He moves to Khabib Nurmagomedov's promotion, where he makes himself known to the American public. Then he is spotted by Dana White and offered to compete in the Challenger series, where he shows a brilliant performance and eventually he is in the major league of the world. He was given the famous middleweight Phil Hawes as his debut. Many doubted whether Ikram would pass such a serious test. After all, Hawes is an elite caliber fighter, but as we saw the knockout in the first round convinced everyone. After this fight they announce Ikram's fight against top fighter Paulo Costa. If he defeats the Brazilian, he will 100% immediately climb into the top 10, and possibly into the top 5 where he won't have much left before the title fight. Now let's break down this fight to see if Ikram Aliskarov is even capable of pulling this kind of middleweight opposition or if he hasn't matured to this level yet. Right now let's give a clear and concise answer to all of this. Let's start with the striking and the first one we have is Brazilian Paulo Costa. I can't say anything great about his skills. Yes, he has a lot of experience with elite-level percussionists. But he's shown himself to be a poor performer. His style is built on knocking out his opponent with the first punch, and that's why as soon as Paulo got closer to the top five he started having problems. The middleweight elite has no problem outworking the Brazilian, who when he goes into exchanges, doesn't look behind the defense at all. He knocked everyone out when he first came to the UFC. Knockout after knockout. Everybody had high hopes for him. But as soon as he faced a top 5 fighter for the first time, like that fight against Yoel Romero, everything fell into place. Let's move on to Ikram Aliskarov. What can I say about his striking skills? After watching most of his fights I realized that he likes to mix wrestling and striking. And there, and then he has a good advantage. Remember the Chimivikram fight. In that fight, the Dagestani in the beginning hit Kamzat pretty good and that uppercut was more or less a surprise than a planned punch. As for Ikram's punching power, it is still present. His powerful double in his fight against Phil Hawes is the proof of that. Aliskarov is not a fighter who will run for the knockout or look up to his opponent. No, he's a kind of technician, who if he gets hurt, then his punches will have consequences for sure. So, Costa certainly should not relax. What can we say about the result? It will be very difficult to choose a favorite, and after a lot of thinking I'll give the advantage to Paulo Costa who is more experienced and technical. Moving on to the skills on the ground, where Costa is also not in top form and defends himself against every takedown. If he goes up against a freestyle wrestler like Marvin Vettori, he'll get transferred a couple of times. He's been in the UFC for a long time, but he still has problems with that aspect and now time is running out and the middle division is slowly being replenished with fighters like the same Aliskarov. Paolo is unlikely to defend against all transfers. But if a fighter comes up against him, who is a puncher as well as he is, and likes to box at the hands, then he can transfer you. So he avoids the competition at the hands. As for Ikram's wrestling, it's at the highest level. 
But we must not forget who he fights against in the octagon. From the famous top wrestlers only comes at Chimiev, in a fight with whom Ikram showed a brilliant defense against takedowns. By the way, an interesting fact is that Aliskarov is the only fighter whom Kamzat has never been able to transfer. But that was a long time ago, and it is a big question how he will present himself now. But so far he has been able to cope with the lower-ranking opposition without any difficulty. Takedown and Kimura. This is the plan he has for almost every match he plays. In my opinion the favorite here will be Akram Aliskarov, who is an elite wrestler. Let's move on to the cardio of the fighters and as we know the fight will be three rounds, where we are going to take apart this particular segment. Ikram has been through the three round mark many times in his career, where he has looked perfect. Many say that the Brazilian has the experience to fight in five rounds. But it's a 15 minute fight, and the pace can be completely different. As for Costa, he has more experience and knowledge to go the whole distance. But in three round fights, he mainly likes to get into fights where he can leave everything he's got. But all the same, due to a little experience, I'll give this aspect to the Brazilian. As for experience, Paulo Costa is the favorite, because he fought many of the top fighters of this division. I think Paulo Costa will win this fight. With his experience and punching power, he can hit Akram and knock him out like Kamzat did. What do you think, friends? Write your thoughts on comments. Goodbye.